Now, before they come to the pond fence, this is the 11th, and uh, John's, the pace seems to have steadied a little. Yeah, they've steadied up. I'm not totally happy with the way Ryman Reason's been jumping. He doesn't seem to be particularly comfortable. When he stands off a fence, he seems to be having trouble rounding his back. But, so, he's got a long way to go. Perhaps he'll warm up in a minute. What about Steersby, John? He, the pace is suiting him well because they're not stretching him too much and he's able to jump in his own time and he was very clever there. It's when they quicken up down the back, it might just catch him out. Ryman Reason made another mistake at the pond. Yes, he's, he, he just doesn't look happy to me. So they're under two miles to race. They come to the 12th. Jump that a little better. That's the favorite Ryman Reason in last place. No more than uh, five lengths off the leader which is Queensway boy who just pokes his white nose up on the inside of the Langham Dyer. This is a ditch, this is the 13th. And uh, all safely over. Well, Ross Arnott should be riding the favourite Ryman Reason. He's injured following his first race fall. He's with Derek Thompson now. Yes, Ross, John Franklin was saying he's not jumping too well. What do you think? Well, he's not really an impressive jumper most of the time. Um, at Chepstow, he, he was quite happy just to pop round, take his time a little bit. I wouldn't worry too much at this stage of the race. Um, it's a long way to go yet. I think you'll see him staying on at the end and hopefully jumping better. Could the horse be feeling that it's not the regular partner? Will he know that there's somebody different on board, or will that make a difference? Well, um, I rode him at Chepstow. Colin rode him at Linkfield, as you know. Mm -hmm. Colin has ridden him before. He knows him very well. How does the collarbone feel? Painful. Very painful. Let's watch with interest. I think the race is now beginning to get underway, Graham. As uh, Steersby starts his charge up on the inside, Queensway boy, rank outside, is still leading. Langham Dyer second, Steersby is third. Bernard's Cross has been jumping well. This is the 11th from home. And then, by the way, and Ryman Reason again through the top of that. Very economical with his height, I must say, today. They turn into the back straight. They've got ten more to jump. Seven of them are in the back straight. They jump two plain ones, then an open ditch, then a water, then three plain and then three playing in the home straight. So, this is the 15th of the 24, and it's Queensway Boy on the inside of Langham Dyer, then Steersby and Berlin's Cross, and now, by the way, has dropped out to be last. I wonder if he's been given a breather, or is he, is he struggling? Is he finding the pace a bit hot as his tempo quickens? Steersby makes a mistake there. Berlin's Cross, John Oakes, is going well as they go to the last ditch. He's going like a bomb, uh, and has been jumping superbly. He hasn't put a foot wrong at all. He's been very impressive. Touch wood, for God's sake. So, yes, <laughs> touch wood. He's got the three railway fences to come up. By the way, just seems to have been struggling. They only quickened up slightly, and they seem to tap him for speed. Oh, Berlin's Cross uh, four faults there. That's in the red jacket. Steersby is powering his way down the track. The Langham Dyer uh, looks cooked back in four. Ryman Reason, the favourite, second from the right of the picture at 11 to 8, with a second favourite, by the way, at 4 to 1. And we've got two races on here, one for the first three places. And from left to right, it's Steersby, Queensway Boy and Bowdoin's Cross. Queensway Boy was a mistake there. And one for the minor honours, and that's uh, the Langham Dyer and Ryman Reason. That's the 20th of the 24. So they've got... Uh, just three more fences to jump as they turn out of the back straight. And Berlin's Cross now quickens up, and Peter Scudamore asks him to go on, and he's used his speed here. Steers being, being, has been caught flat-footed. Queensway Boy is back in third place and struggling, but not as struggling as the favourite, Ryman Reason, who's only just starting to get into gear. By the way, has dropped right out, and I should think it might very well be pulling up. But Berlin's Cross is a horse that's full of running as they come down towards the third last. Berlin's Cross in the red, Queensway Boy with a white nose, white sleeve Jacket steers be the top weight, going for his second consecutive win in the race. But they come down towards the third last, and Berlin's Cross gets close to it when he didn't want to. And they just got two to jump, but it's Berlin's Cross in the lead. With Steersby now really brute force and ignorance on the outside as far as Steersby is concerned. But look at Ryman Rees in the favourite back in fourth place. He's starting to close. We've got a race here. Two out. Steersby fiddles it. Berlin's Cross is second. Ryman Rees and Bennett running and starts to improve. The horse pushing himself to the far side and really starts to pick up. Queensway Boy has got out of it. Four in the line as they come to the last. And the favourite has it, Ryman Reason on the left. Ryman Reason comes to take it, and Ryman Reason goes on by two to three lengths. But the rest are fighting back, and on the near side, Queensway Boy comes through for second place. The Langham Dyer might make a place too, but Ryman Reason has it by three to four lengths. Having looked beaten down the far side, Ryman Reason.
Hamilton wins. Clear of Queensway boy second, the Langham Dyer, a courageous third. Steersby one pace fourth, Bowdens Cross, a disappointing and tired fifth, and indeed, by the way, has been pulled up. And so the result of this Anthony Mile Bay Peter Kaslip Memorial, a win for number five, Ryman Reason, the 11 to 8 favourite, owned by Miss Julia D. Reed, trained at Whiskey by David Ellsworth, and who says it's third time lucky. Third time he's tried to win this race, finished twice.